try to create a couple of lights, starting with the directional light. And we'll go to visual effects, sky atmosphere. Okay, let's go create a exponential height fog. Let's go ahead and create a skylight. Turn that on. So everything is good. I'll send this to movable and make sure everything is movable as well. Directional, definitely want to set that to movable. All right, I'm going to press G so we can see the icons and control L so I can see that widget. And now I'm just going to find a good lighting spot for our directional light here. So you can see, I'm going to press G now. I don't know. I, I feel like it looks better. Now the camera is crooked because I have a, I have my Vive camera on this. So we'll fix that here in a second. So don't mind that for now. I will go ahead and set this to, that's too much fog to be honest. I'll just turn it off for now. And let's change a couple of settings here. We'll go to the directional light. I'll change this to one to really just soften those edges there. And I have it set to 10. Now let's create a post-process volume to even help this out a little bit. Go to infinite, check out the infinite bounds. And we'll turn off the exposure here. Turn it off to manual. And I usually set mine to 11 or 12. And what I'll do is I'll just bring that directional light in here. And I'll again, I'll press control L because my focus for this shot is actually the kitchen, right? Area ish. Yeah, that looks pretty cool right there. Press G. That looks good. Turn on our skylight now. You can see that there's going to be a little bit of shadow there or light color right there, a little bit blue. I mean, to be honest, before you would see all the noise in this shot and again I feel like this is a lot cleaner we'll set it cinematic right now and we haven't even messed with our post process yet so if I go to method I'll change that to lumen and again they have a lot more settings here but I'm waiting for the actual documentations to come out but I was just kind of messing around with that for now turn it on right here now let's look at our FPS so we're at 55 right now, which is not too bad. And what I'll do is actually go to the toe right here and just change this to like point to like point point four two or something like that. Just to get a little bit more light. Uh, additionally, I can turn on, I can kind of bring this up if I want to for the indirect lighting. So let's just maybe do five or maybe two. Maybe 1.2 is okay. I mean, I still want shadows, but man, this looks pretty darn good considering it is Lumen and it's uh, all dynamic. And what I'll do now is actually tweak the post process. Again, without the proper documentations, uh, the scene lighting quality, I'm just kind of flipping some switches here and a two, I think, gets rid of that, sh that little bit of noise back there. So that's good. Lumen scene detail. I can probably crank that up to like four and you kind of saw what happened there over there just gives that nice proper shadow right there just blends it in which looks pretty nice in my opinion and then the final gather quality right here again large you can see the larger scales reduces noise but you know messes with performance but we don't really care too much we have 46 right now and there is a little bit of flicker right here but I think that is a reflection. Yeah, it is. It's like a mirror or something. So we're sitting at 45 frames per second, but obviously it's not good for gaming, but still pretty darn impressive as far as what you can get with this right now. And what I can also do is obviously the screen percentage here is still is only at 61, so I can even turn that up to 100%. And you can see that my FPS kind of got shot there. But what I'm hoping for is maybe... Uh, NVIDIA DLSS would eventually go to preview too and we would get a little bit more of that back. Okay, so I will, let's see here. I mean, I have it turned on. Let's just see. Let's go with two. Let me turn off some of these down because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hook up my Vibe Tracker uh, camera and then we w we'll walk around in here a little bit. I'll make sure we have motion blur turned off. I don't want to make anybody throw up. Motion blur is off, so that's good. Turn that off. And that should be good. But yeah, this is pretty impressive. I mean, 24, it is using hardware ray tracing as well. So just keep that in mind. So this is not your 100%, you know, Lumen software. All right, so I'm going to turn on my stream VR. 
and looks like it is ready to roll. I'll turn on my uh, Live Link XR here, and I do have a camera already set up, and I have it set to 100. Let me go ahead and make this bigger, maximize it, and press Escape so we can get rid of that yellow thing. And I'm going to go ahead and set up. I'm getting like 13 frames per second right now, which is, that's not a lot. All right, so I'm getting really, really terrible FPS on this because this is in pretty high quality. So I'm going to turn this to 80 and get at least 20. There you go. That's better. So this is not even maximum quality. It's pretty cool. This looks good. And I'm hoping that they will fix translucency next because honestly, that is probably the only thing that's giving away this illusion of realism is some of those glass things up there just looks kind of wonky. But like I said, I absolutely think this is a lot better than previous iterations of Lunin. Looks really nice. walk in here I'll probably get a close-up of that wall as well I'm running out of space here I have a small place small, small room so I don't have enough room to go all the way there but we will so let's go ahead and do that okay so I went ahead and moved that camera just a little bit so we can kind of see what's going on here and I am pretty impressed with those shadows to be honest because there's not a lot of noise in there that is not bad and again, we're only 80% right now as far as screen percentage goes. So, I mean, honestly, if I had the hardware, I could have turned this up at like 200 and it would look amazing. Oh, see a little bit of noise there on that reflection. The plant is casting proper shadows for the most part, it looks like. It looks like cactuses. But yeah, this is promising here. I don't know. What do you guys think? If you've been playing around with Lumen since release, let me know what you think. I mean, do you think this is better now? Or is it about the same? I just tripped on something. Now, I can say right now that it's not as good as hardware ray tracing completely, but for it being in beta, this is pretty good, guys. I'm pretty excited about, you know, like Lumen in a couple of years or so. This technology is pretty dope. Oh, my tracker. I only have two trackers, so that's why it moved like that. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. If you all have any questions, let me know, and let me know your opinion about this new version of Lumen.